This thing is so strong, just by standing here, I'm at risk of getting a black eye. Good afternoon, morning, welcome to Turbo Tortoise Tech. If you're new here, I'm Reese of the 4 piece variety here with Triple XL. And we have done an exceptionally large amount of cooler tests with this particular test bench. And yeah, this, this one is, it's actually disgusting. This is disgusting. Cause hey, I thought the price and everything might be, I was like, bro, for a tar cooler, that price and stuff, aren't you a little bit ambitious? Not at all. <laughs> it's basically the TLDR. I've never had to eat so much humble pie in my entire life of tech reviewing. This is, it's disgusting. The performance from this, it's otherworldly. There's, I haven't tested a water cooler. There are 360 mil rads that don't give as good performance from this test bench and this chip compared to this A115. It's disgusting. I, I thought maybe we were getting past the point of air coolers that the Noctua era, you know, it could only go so far that Be Quiet could make as big of a heat sink as you could possibly want to have with as many heat pipes as you can want to have. No, there's, it's no, it's no, it's never over. It's not over. Of course, they're saying it's not over. The band is going to make it big and every cent that you spend over here is just hilariously over the top. So let's start off with what's in the box. Well, you get two of their AF Elite 140 millimeter fans, complete with rubberizing in all of the corners, and then three sets of, well, two sets of rails, and then a spare set of rails on the cooler, because you'll see when I get to that point, it's got a couple of ways that you can orientate and attach it to your motherboard. Speaking of attachments and mountings, the way that they've set this up is pretty, Clever, straightforward, and very easy to use. You basically get two of these, which then attach to four of these. And these little standoffs then connect to the either existing backplate for the AM4 or an 1155 and the uh, LGA 1700. It comes with its own backplate that then has a slightly adjusted positioning because the difference between the two is actually hilarious. It's like three mils on each corner. But yeah, they've included a backplate so that you can attach it to whatever CPU you could hope for. However, if you are attaching this to M4, M5, or uh, honestly anything from LGA 1150 series, you'd probably be like overkilling it to a point of lunacy. Because the, our test bench, which is a Z690 torpedo with 32 gigs of uh, XPG, a data, 5200 megahertz CL38 with an 850 watt gold from um, Deepcool, the PM850D, it with a 13600K at full 200 watts output, um, it generally blows the doors off of like a 240mm rad. And I intentionally have it like that so that we can test for cooling performance because you want to generate as much heat as humanly possible to show the differences between the coolers and you know the various rpms that the fans run at looking at that for a brief moment these things are very very quiet if you're looking at 25 percent or even 50 percent you're pretty much not going to hear them and then to a 75 we gain almost exactly six decibels on average and then going to 100 percent we gain another six decibels peaking at about 52 decibels where the 50 percent like I said, there's about 38 or so, and there was no audio. There's no noise from it at that point in time. Um, and 40 or less is dead quiet. The, the fan in the deep cool power supply at that point makes more noise than the fans attached to the cooler. Now you might notice the positioning here is a little bit sitting on top of the RAM. Um, I could have done it the other way around, but then I just ran into the exact same problem once again, where it sits on top of the heatsink that sits at the back over here by the ports. So there's no real difference between that from that perspective. And in any case, the fan is actually longer than the than the uh, fin stack, so it's a much of a muchness. What I think is happening over here, and why I think this thing performs so well, are these six copper heat pipes that then go into these two massive stacks over here. 
and then that fan quality from Corsair, something where they say, if they say Airflow Elite, they really mean it, and their CFM values are not for show, that's what it will actually do. Something I actually quite appreciate about Corsair. Their bearings as well have lifetimes that are unreasonable, and that's why for most part, they slap on five-year warranties. And the result of this is you get a cooler that is so ridiculously strong, it, this makes Eddie Hall look like a weakling. This makes Brian Shaw and Hofball Bjornsson look like they've got pencil arms, okay? The result, like I said, from this was so good, looking at it versus the H100, which is probably on your screen right now, it's just an absolute bully beatdown. Then I went and had a look at the LT720, which was the best water cooler we had ever tested to date. As I say, I've got a ton of the, the, these kinds of results and stuff. I've kept all of them from the test bench. You know, it, it, it's a JPEG file. It's not exactly large or anything cumbersome to hold on to. And then it gives me like a really good data reflection. And this is now unequivocally the best cooler I've ever tested. I will say, because of this flippin' mahoose of size, you are gonna wanna get low profile memory if you wanna keep it in this kind of orientation. You can put the fan at the back over here because these are just completely interchangeable and super easy to use. While it's on, I shall show you, by just pulling it out of this socket. Now it's being, it's giving me resistance, but it's really easy to use. These rails just slide on the side of the clips like that and then you can just pull it off and put it into another position if you want to. It's really, really easy to work with. Installation was also a complete breeze because like I say, you've got standoffs that sit on the back plate and then these brackets sit on top of that. And then once you remove the middle fan, then you can get in there and attach it. It's gonna be super easy for maintenance as well. And it's not really gonna go anywhere. The, the way that they've done these rails, they're never gonna break unless you're a clot and you somehow snap them. They I just don't see them ever really breaking. And so what is your consumable here? It's the fans. And then you've got these AFE leads that come with a five-year warranty off the back foot. Yeah, 2,700 Rand is a price for a cooler, but if it's the last cooler you ever need, is that really the end of the world? And you can see from this bracket, as an example, there's M4 and M5 socket over there. So we know with AMD, they do try to keep stuff quite uniform and LJ1700 is the current basis for Intel desktop. And so, you know, you buy something like this, bro, it's not gonna go anywhere for a very long time. And the performance is astronomical. The tests you're seeing are at 50% locked fan. That's at 50% of max. I don't need it to go anywhere near max. It was so laughable, I turned it up to max and ran a Cinebench again and the score improved by like 50 points. It was literally maxing out the CPU. The CPU set at like what, 70 degrees, 80 degrees. This is a 13600K at 200 watt. Like I say, if you put any AMD underneath there, bro, mental. This is like one of the best coolers. And I'm so happy to say that. I went in looking for like a BMW M5 and I came out with a Bugatti Veyron. It's worth it. The price is not ridiculous. It's actually quite reasonable if you think about it. Especially if you're just going to replace fans in five years, then your CPU cooler has a zero cost and you're basically getting keeping like 1,900 rands worth of value. So yeah, this thing is exceptional. I have nothing but net on it. It's, it's just kind of disgusting, like in the performance. Um, yeah, well done, Corsair. I'm very, very impressed. Um, I think this is actually better even than your guys like top line water coolers. So yeah, good job. This thing is disgusting. Anywho, that is all I have for you on the A115. I think you'll agree with me that it's kind of mental. Uh, if you have thoughts about it, please let me know in the comments down below. Uh, yeah, air cooling's not going anywhere. They're making sure of that. Anywho, that's all I have for you. If you've enjoyed it, please do hit us up with a like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the flip side.